cage. Oh, that's perfect. Just, just right there. Looks like they put the UN punch.
Yes, check. One minute, one minute, ladies and gentlemen, one minute. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay, I just need uh, everyone to be aware that there's a camera towards the left side of the uh, the building. Please make sure to not block that camera right now. Fifteen seconds. Hello everybody, can I have everybody's attention please? Ali, on the Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Clary, and I will be your MC today. Welcome to Australia Day 2023. Uh, we have a spectacular day ahead of us with the second annual cricket championship, paired with good food, Australian wine, and fine friends. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land in which we meet here today and pay my respects to the elders past, present, and emerging, and extend this respect to all First Nations people present. To get things underway, I'd like to invite the two teams onto the field. Team Australia is captained by Ambassador Rochelle Turner. Team Palau is captained by His Excellency President Surang Weeps Jr. The players on both teams bring great skill, enthusiasm, commitment, and energy and look marvelous in their team uniforms. Uh,
Motokan itu mau ngasih asing Please remain standing where you are and wait for the uh Frank Yotal Mel Baskidang Lungu uh please bow your heads for prayer. Okay. Let's bow our heads. Our gracious and merciful Heavenly Father. Hallowed be thy name. Thank you so much, Father, for bringing us together. Thank you for giving us the sunshine and the good weather. Thank you, Father, for the friendship we have with the government and the people of Australia. Thank you, Father, for the good work that they're doing with our government. We ask you, Father, that you bestow upon our president and Ambassador Turner the grace and courage to do the good work that you gave us in the very beginning. Thank you, Father, for the blessings. We continue to ask for your peace and mercy, protection and care for both our countries, our economies, families, friends too. Thank you for the relationship and the fellowship we have today. Bless us as we uh, celebrate this uh, special day with our friends uh, and acquaintances. Bless the people and government of Australia. Bless the people and government of Palau. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, CEO. Uh, please remain standing for the Australian National Anthem and the Republic of Palau National Anthem.
it's time to determine who will bat first. Uh, at this time, I'd like to invite Raklai to toss the coin. show good sportsmanship and impress the whole crowd oh. uh, and Team Australia will feel and Team Palau is going to hit the ball. Okay. okay. The order of play has been decided. Team Australia will field and Team Palau will bat. I'd like to invite the fielders onto the oval for the commencement of the game and at this point I'd like to welcome our umpires Ian and Rodney, and official scorers Morag and Bennett, thank you for your support today. Before we begin, just a few quick reminders. Spectators are welcome to move around, but please avoid going onto the field. Please help yourself to drinks uh, from the canoe and the eskies. Snack platters are on your tables. The dinner buffet will begin at 5.30. And parents, please mind your children. After the match this afternoon, there may be an opportunity for all of you to play some fun cricket. While it depends on the weather, if you'd like to play some, please pull on your sport shoes um, and be ready when the match ends. Thank you for your attention. And now I hand over to the commentators, Rondi and Johan. All right. Well, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here at the Cove. And we are live right now on EPFM Eco Paradise. Yes, indeed. Coming straight to you from the Cove Resort. I am Randy. I'm going to go to the time. I'm going to go live. I'm going to go to the Cove. I'm going to go to the Cove. I'm going to go to the Cove. Australia, Maradra Blue, Ra England. Game, uh, cricket. 
ลบันตรีดาอดราเอ็มบัซีดาออสเตรเลีย celebrating happy Australia Day Johan are you excited or what incredibly excited Rod what an amazing day given all the days of rain we we had to have this amazing day and what a backdrop I really think that this could give you know a good run for any stadium around the world just a scenic know. backdrop to play cricket against it it's just incredible yeah and I mean look at the weather it's incredible <laughs> what a beautiful wonderful beautiful weather we yeah. have for us today for our cricket yeah. game so, so we're seems, ready to start seems like the president's team uh, will be batting first all right the bass turner will be bowling uh, the first lady will be taking guard will be all taking the strike and I think we're ready to get started let's go all right I think we're also lucky to have one of the two finest umpires out there in the ICC elite panel we've got Ian and Rodney the ICC has been kind enough whoa There we go. That's ball. our first ball. Yeah, that's the first ball. It's a dot. All, All right. right. So just real quick, Johan. So uh, the throws are called bowls. Exactly. All right. Exactly. And so uh, an over is six bold balls. That's correct. That's correct, Rodney. All right. And so right now we're getting uh, uh, bowls from the Australia team. Wow! The Whoa! Team. The first lady. You could see that. It's a beautiful on drive. There we go. There's And a stumble wow, now. The fielders oh, no. are stumbling. Yeah, exactly. She's got to go. She's got to go all the way to the other side. There we go. With all the days of rain we've had, we've got a bit of a wet outfield. Now we got the president. Yeah, the president's taking guard. Taking guard right now. In s a m b a s s a d o r Turner. He's going to be batting. In baseball term, it's batting. It's batting. <laughs> right. It's, it's batting in cricket terms as well. He'll be batting. All right, right-handed so batsman. Each team we have about 13 to 12 uh, players. That's correct. On each team. I think that's a. Is that a wide? No. There we go. The president's got the first lady, Lauren Minister t m a t u l also on the president's team. Exactly. Uh, Kayla Minister uh, Victor. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Whoa, he oh, he it. missed it. He dropped it. They're running. Whoa. They're running. Woo! I think we can go for overthrows here. Are they going for overthrows? No. There no. we go. And Basta so, Ricasa picks up the ball. Each time they hit the ball, they got to run yeah. to that's, that's, uh, the bases, and yeah, each run is uh, considered a score. A one run. One, one run. run. Exactly. All right. Yeah. One run. Okay. That was a bit uncharacteristic from the Australian team. They're, they're known for their excellent fielding, um, but I guess you know they've taken a bit back by the foreign conditions here. Oh, again, we have a miss. So r o n d y One of the big differences between baseball and cricket is in cricket you actually pitch the ball, so the pitch becomes incredibly important. If the you know sometimes you get really fast pitches, sometimes you get really slow pitches. This one's a slow one because of all the moisture. There. I see, I see. And I think the Australian team's going to struggle because they usually excel in the fast, bouncy wickets. This is a slow one, um, and <laughs> you know I really think the, the deck the deck is stacked against them. Oh, there we go, President. Another on drive, hitting it. Hitting Move the ball. Swiftly, oh, they're the going! Throws. They're going for another one! Oh, oh they're going like for another one! Throws. Throws. And, oh, no. Fast no Ricasa! Wow, the president and first lady Stumbled. really putting Mid a field. lot, putting a lot of runs into exactly, their exactly, exactly into that's their an, team that's score. Early chance! With, Great with job, first lady and the president. With this sort of batting lineup, you cannot miss those kinds of chances. I think the president has know? been doing a lot of research, and uh, you know, I think he learned his lesson as well from last year's Absolutely. game. Right. So he's really doing really he's well. Wow! It. There we go. It's kind of a pivot shot. Wow! Oh, they're not doing it. They're not doing yeah. it. Good, yeah. good call. Good call, president. Right. Great job. The throw was a bit weak there. Yeah. I think when you put couples into a team, you're really unbeatable. Absolutely. And I, I the love be between these two is really showing. Wow! Oh, 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 and it was no. caught. Oh no! One of the fielders caught the ball, that's so one that's now. one out. Right. So in in traditional cricket, the batsman will be leading, but today, because of the inclusive nature of the sport, uh -huh. they'll only be deducted a few runs. So we'll oh, continue I to bat. See. So they're going to continue to bat. What a shot! Oh, oh. he's got what a, a six. That's a six run. That's a six. That hit the roof. And we got a six out President of that one. Whips. Great job from President Whips and the first lady. It's an incredible shot. Team Palau are off to a flying start here. They've been practicing. I know. Clearly. I feel like they've been practicing a lot. 
Another shot. Oh, there Whoa, we go. Another six. Is that another six? Yes, it is. Wow. We got a new ball. Looks like. Wow, that's another six. So that's 12 altogether. With the way the president is, is batting, we might have to get another bag of balls. It's incredible. President. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. It's flying. It's flying. It's going to get caught. Oh, it didn't. Incredible. Another six. Oh, they're running again. They're about it's six runs. Oh, you already got you six. Okay, so six they don't runs. need yeah. they don't need to run yeah, for that one. Yeah, they don't one. need to run for that one. Okay, there we go. This is incredible. Incredible batting from Team Palau. So that's the first. Team over. Palau, that's let's go. Great play from the president and the first lady of the republic. Can we? So the two batsmen retire. We've got two new batsmen taking over. So that's the uh, the end of our first. Over. First two overs. First two overs. Two overs exactly. Okay. Yep. And every two overs, you're gonna get a switch of batters. Two so new batsmen coming get two in. Two new exactly. batters. Yeah. All right. Great job. So we've got, I believe, is it Minister Matul? Minister and Matul and Lauren. Exactly. Number Lauren's sixteen and strike. number twenty-six from Team Palau. Exactly. Minister Matul, number twenty-six, and Lauren, number yeah. sixteen. Exactly. All right. And I think uh, Minister Matul also has experience. In the game cricket, Lauren also been doing a lot of research. No, you didn't? Okay, she didn't. <laughs> Scores, can we have our scoring update? All right, let's hear from our scorers a little bit on our scores right now. Okay, no. Okay, no. Looks let's like go. Richard's, Richard's Richard getting started. Is starting Whoa. already. He's bowled about. Oh, it's first flying. Up. Oh. oh, no. And he's missed Almost. it. Whoa. We've got some piss. That's more like it. Okay, now was that considered? Um, that was one run. Out. That was one that run. Was one okay, run. okay, exactly. There we yeah. go. Richard bringing some serious pace here. It's like he's gonna hit the deck kind of bowler here. We've got. Richard's really doing that technique well. Oh. Oh. Minister missing that ball. There's a there's a bit of deviation from the pitch here. Yeah, it's a bit hard to get the timing of the bat. It's a bit slow. Richard's gearing up again. There we go. Whoa! Another miss from the minister. Yes, he's really bringing minister his game Matul. today, Richard. Minister Matul. Takes a bit, it takes a bit to get used to the pitch here. It's a bit slow. There we go. That pitch, though. That technique. Whack! Whoa! Wow. A six! Minister Matul getting into his stride. There we go. He was just warming up. Yep. And once again, another ball goes out of the stadium. And these aren't little sixes. You know, he's really dispatching them, the Palawan team, out of the ground. Yeah, that, that flew all the way Second, third tier to the roof. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Richard really Richard's putting a little gonna... run into it. A oh! Runs. It's oh, flying! Four runs. It's four runs. That's four runs. Four runs. Minister Matul has to strike again. That's four runs. Rodney, umpire Rodney indicating that you don't need to run, given that it's four runs. All right, so let me get this clear. So in cricket, when you say strike, mm -hmm. and that's when they hit the ball. So it's yeah, yeah, different it's from shot. baseball. Cause... It's a bit different, yeah. Okay, exactly. there we go. So there's no three miss and out. There that's we go. Richard there. going in at it. And oh, Ooh. almost. Oh, he's Looks running. Like they're, they're stealing a bye. They're and, stealing. Oh, yes. they wow, steal they did it. Great running. Proactive shot. Wow, good call from Minister Matul. He really saw that one. Yeah. And took advantage of that. Team Palau is, is very serious, Rodney. This yeah, they they incredible. got techniques going on. I know. They got skills. I feel like they've been practicing exactly. somewhere. Who's the new bowler? Do we have a new bowler? Okay, new bowler is... Uh, no, that is Essie. Essie. Essie's our new bowler. Essie Ubde, let's go. A bit of spin. Essie Ang Ubde, there we go. An interesting change of pace after. I think she's the one taking um, Laurelin's place. Right, Yeah. right. We've got Essie here with Essie. a bit of spin. Great oh, shot. One. Essie and the, Not got the timing minister there. really hit that one out. So was that yeah, a... One, was that four? 
Is that four runs? Yes, it is. That was it's four runs. Boundary. Great job. Went all the way to the boundary. It's raining boundaries here. Minnesota so when they two. hit the ball and it goes to the ground and then to the boundary, that's four that's runs. Right. Exactly. All right. Essie hitting it again. Whoa. Oh! Okay, now, was that, that considered... Um, that's a dot ball. That's There's, okay, yeah, dot ball. That's one ball, no runs. Ooh, another dot ball. All right, another dot ball. Essie's you only get six... Per over. Per so over, per, so... Per, per couple get 12 balls. It gets two overs. Essie also has some technique there. Whoa! Oh. A little too hard on that one, Essie. We're going to have to re-ball that one. Is that, is that a no ball? It's a no ball. All right, that's a no ball. Umpire in signals it's a no ball. There we go, Whoa. and it's flying. Oh. It hit the coconut tree. So that's another unique thing about the match today. We got cricket. We got coconut trees on the field. We got coconut that's, that's trees unusual. on the field. So what yes. is that? What happens when it hits the coconut tree? Well, in, in cricket, you don't have coconut trees on the field, <laughs> ideally. Yeah. So for this one, do it's, we have a special thing for hitting coconut trees? I think if you hit the coconut tree and the ball without bouncing, and someone catches it, you're out. I, I that's see. The rule. Okay. Let me just check the rules here. Oh, that's it. Two overs. All right, are up. that's two overs. But I think Essie there did a great job. She kind of great job, in the Essie. Exactly. She kind of reined in the run rate. And um, let's see who's going in next. So, so right now we are switching uh, to the next teammates. All right, the batters right now are still. Uh, Team Palau. We're moving on to uh, Kayla and Minister Victor. Stephen Victor from the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Environment. And who is the other? Who is the other batsman? And the, the other, other batsman is uh, Kayla from the Kayla. Office of the Whoa, President. Minister Victor. Oh, oh, oh! oh he dropped it. it. Oh, is, is that out? It's not out. All right, that is it's the not out. Japan ambassador who tried to catch that and missed. Yep, you know it's. It's slippery out there. It's very difficult to grasp the ball. And All right. So, again, on Team Pulau, we have President Whips, First Lady, Valerie Whips. Uh, we have Lor oh, no. Lauren, Minister Tmatul. We've got to be careful here. Who's the bowler? Kayla and Minister Victor yeah. are the ones right now on the field batting. And yeah. the fielders yeah. are from Team Australia. Yep. Neil needs to invest in a pair of spikes. Oh, Whoa. there we go. It's flying. That's oh, and it. that was That's caught. Well, wicked. well bowled. When a good length ball. Minister Victor up. hit it, and then uh, it got caught yeah, by... Yeah, Neil um, caught it. Neil. Neil. Neil, Neil caught it. Exactly. Neil coming back after that slip. So that's an out. That's an out, exactly. All right. And you get... There we go. Whoa, a Yorker. Neil bowls a Yorker right at the batsman's feet. They don't go for a run, so that's a dot ball. Nikisha is the, the wicket keeper. Okay, I see. Neil's bowling some. Yeah, it's some. Neil fast also spin. got some technique. Yeah, exactly. It looks like some fast Kayla's spin. Kayla's gonna no, try and steal run. it. Oh! Let's see where they hit oh! It. oh! No, Nikisha. Nikisha, Nikisha throwing it over the wicket. Instead of at it. Past the minister. Yes, instead of at it. All right, I see. So Nikisha's also new to this game. Very interesting. <laughs> Again. Oh, and they're stealing another one. They're stealing Whoa, another one. Whoa, Minister this is Victor and Kayla from the president's office. Exactly. Being office taking really, advantage of that missed Really sharp ball, running. Yeah. Really sharp running here. Consecutive misses by Nikisha. He must be a bit upset about this. Leaky runs from his own bowling. Whack. All right, oh, there, we, there go. we go. That one flew. Whoa. Oh, wow. Another save. Another run. But the good thing here is that Neil has brought the run rate down. We're not seeing the sixes and the fours we saw from the previous pairs. Neil's, Neil's brought the Australians back into the match. Okay, I'm going to go to the set. I'm going to go to the set. I'm going to Ngonyerul over. Tungurot uh, tal game ng wal. Ngonyerul ining. Kailama ba battle el ang? Yagidan ni Kishal. 
Marcel Timmer Australia là, on va mettre à tout on va mettre ça c'est qui chasse le ball et on va clinguer again well fielded well fielded by Team Australia one run that yep, was one run go. that's one run I think Nikisha here wants to make amends for the run she gave away as the wicket keeper I so. see I see She's, she's got. She's, she's trying to make up for it. She's trying to make up for it, but she's she's got off to a good start here. Now she's bowling to Minister Victor. Seems to be in. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, boom! Whacked. Again, a full toss. Oh, Again, no. well fielded. Oh. Well fielded by the Fury Australian up. team. In the field, throwing it back. Exactly. There we go. Exactly. Exactly. They're they well and truly back in the match. Nikisha's bowling really well here. She's keeping the Palau team quiet. Okay, Kayla batting right now. Oh, oh and wow. she misses. Well bowled. Well bowled, Nikisha. I think this is the final go. ball She's of the over. And boom. Whacked. Oh, there's a catch. And oh, no. Oh. Another catch dropped. Got like. She dropped the catch. Team Australia having buttery fingers today. Giving another run. Dropping a lot of catches. For Team Palau. Yeah. Wow. And that's it. So right, we've got it. We've All got right. Pair. We've got a new pair so of So now we're moving into strike. the next pair of uh, players. Exactly. Who we got we Edu Mile. Edu Mile and, and wait is that Wayland? And Wayland. And Wayland. We have Edu Mile and Wayland. I think Team Australia here. You know, they're back in the game uh Bit of an evenly matched contest again. We got we saw in the first few overs, Team Palau was just running away from it. But Team Australia has brought it back. And we've got Matt now. All right, Taking Matt is going to be bowling. Okay, Wayland is yes. batting right now. Matt's a tall unit. I think he's going to try to use his height here to get some bounce and try to bounce the Palau and batsman out. Let's see what he does. And and Wayland is from Kayang, so, you is know, it? he's probably not going to miss. Oh! Whoa. Oh, he read that very well. Well, I think... I think he saw that. I, he knew that it's not going to happen right. on that one. So that's a dot ball. All these dot balls adding up. Gold All right, so that's know. considered a dot ball. Exactly, no runs. All right. Oh, there we go! It hit the coconut tree, oh, no. went back. Oh, no. Oh, they're still on the field. Oh, no, I think oh. it's run out. Oh, no. Ow. That's out. So, Rodney, that's, that's one All other right, way so of getting someone out. Before Wayland even reached the uh, wicked... Yeah. Uh, Matt caught the ball and hit the wicket, so that's one out for Team Palau. All right, so. Oh, Edumail hits the ball. There we go, all the way back. Great job, Edu. Running all the way back to uh, the wicket. So, guys, once again, us knowledgeable scorers here informing me that a wicket is an automatic two rounds for the other team. That's the rule. I see. So, two runs for the opposition team. Australian team, okay. Australian team, yes, exactly. They automatically receive two runs. Okay, Wayland back ba batting again. Matt here with some Ooh. serious pace. You could see the bounce there. Bouncing off a length. All right, kind of there like... we go. He's going to try again. It bounced off his shoulder. Yeah. I think he should use the pitch here. Boom! No, he doesn't. Oh! He doesn't. He bowls a full toss. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh. Out. Yes. That oh, was my. out. Rodney gives it out. That's another two rounds for the opposition out. team. Before Edu Mile reached the wicket. Team Australia is well and truly back. There we go. All right. Stamping their dominance. With some straight, accurate, metronomic bowling. All right. Now, Isabel is going to be bowling. Roddy, do you know much about Isabel's bowling? Uh, Isabel is uh, also Australian. She's part Australian, so I have no doubt she's going to bowl very well for this one. Well, I think Palau can bowl pretty Edu. well as well. Oh, no. There we go. Oh! Here we go. They're is running. Another wicket? Oh, no. A poor throw by Matt. Matt. Okay, so that's one run for Team Palau. One run. Another chance goes begging. Isabel... Isabel here. Goodall. Goodall. Team Palau. Oh no. I think we're gonna have to re-bowl that one. Oh uh, no. 
Is that out? It's out, says umpire. Okay, that's an out. So that's another two runs he, for the opposition Because Waylon didn't hit it. Yeah. All right. Waylon, you got to hit the ball. Rodney. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, oh he misses. Well oh, no. But he's I running. Think, and, think. oh, the wind knocked out the wicked. Yeah. It's very windy conditions today. All right. So I got to explain this. So in baseball terms, the wicked is like your base. Right. Yeah. And it's a standing base. So you got to, like, keep it up. Because if it falls, then you're out. Okay. All right. Waylon missing once again. Wow. These are all dot balls. It was not... So that's a dot ball. Yep. All right. Team Palau. Ha oh, is that out? Was he there an it. edge? Was there a, was there an edge there? No, nope. There was no edge there. Went off the arm. Says Richard. Okay. Oh. Oh no. 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 Okay. I think we have another wicket there. Is that an out? Yep. Yep. That's an out. Okay, I'll say again, it's uh, more than set young and you are a little Australia has managed to keep the lid here. They've strangled the run rate. It's the Aramok Medalwa. I gave my acul and I have a singing ding did the blow base. It's a more than a wicked whack. A catcher. Well, Richard. Oh no, Richard drops it. And you meet goes right through his fingers. Okay, I'm going to say it. You don't want to give Team Palau these chances. You know they're going to come back. Rodney, did you... Before, All right. Before the match started, did you get a chance to go out there and, and play? Uh, yes, I did actually. Um, yeah, Was that yesterday when we did the uh, demo? We had a little demo going on and uh, got a chance to really uh, play the game hands-on. And what was it like? And it was it was interesting. It was you know <laughs> kind of like baseball. I know they hate they hate it when we say that, no, but no, no, no. it's kind of like baseball. It you know, there's like bases. Baseball. You know, you're running when the ball is still out there. You're yeah. trying to get as much home runs, uh -huh. but in cricket, it's just you're just counting the run. Exactly. Yeah. So you're yeah. not necessarily going to base to base and yeah. then home run. Yeah. You just as soon as you're running, yep. that's going to be considered a run. So this is similar to baseball in a lot of ways. It is. It yes, is, it is quite similar. Yeah. There we go. Ball flying. Oh, another dot She ball. misses. Team Palau misses. Yep. Team Palau. Everything's a bit quiet now. Who's the bowler? So, okay. So for Team Palau, I think we got Alyssa and Omdas. Shot. Sam Scott's the bowler. There we go. Sam cap. Scott bowling, He's bowling for Team Australia. Yep. He's more of a spinner, looks like it. Team Australia having a strong there contingent we go. of spinners. Very unlike them. Usually they're known for their pace bowling. But today, given the pitch and the slowness of it, they're going with a with some several spinners here. There we go. Sam throwing it oh right no. now. On Das missing it. Ronnie. Out. How how is Omdas? Is do you do you expect big things from him in the cricket pitch, on the cricket oh, pitch? Oh, I I think he's he's a pretty good batter, so he should he be uh should be good with this one. But okay. you know the game's a little bit different. You got a, a, a different instrument than the regular bat. Does Omdas play baseball? Does he have a baseball experience? Uh, he should. Okay. You know, most Palauans have played baseball, so. All right. So let's see whether he could leverage on that experience. No, he's just letting the ball go. He's also got a survivor bandana on his head, so he right. should survive this game pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, he misses another again. miss! Oh no, that's not. And bad. it hits the it hits the wicked, so that's an out that's right there, bowling. which is uh, automatic. Two so. runs for Team Australia. Is that right? Scott there using his guile and dip as a spinner and deceiving Omdas. Great job, Sam. Getting his wicket. Okay, now they're switching. Who's bowling now? Peoria now bowling. Peoria, Peoria is from the track and field. Oh. Peoria bowls, and again. So, yeah. I'm having some challenges here connecting the ball. She's uh, also one of Palau's fastest runners. 
Really? Yes. No so. wonder. I, I saw her fielding and, you know, she saved a lot of runs for Team Australia today. No, no wonder she's a great fielder. Yeah, she's a great fielder. There we go. Throwing again. Again. Ah, I know. Oh, let's go. They're running. One well, run. Well, throwing it to that's Sam. Another run. That's another run. I think Team Palau has given up on the fours and the sixes, and they're trying to scavenge whatever they can get in terms of the singles here. All right. There we go. Peoria throwing yeah. again. Oh, Alyssa. No. Oh. oh, Alyssa hitting another it. Wicket. But then it hits another the wicket, wicket. So that's another out for Team Palau, Team which Palau. is another run. Is that two runs? So two runs for Team Australia. For Team Australia. There we go. All right. So why why are we switching? They're switching. Why, why are they okay. All right. So, so every time they score an out, then they got to switch batter switch. on Daswa right. batting again. Guys, and, and, and another thing about cricket, Rodney, is that you it's 360, unlike in baseball where you got to hit it in front. You can use the entire field here. You can use the entire field here. Okay. Oh, there we go. On thus missing another ball. Exactly. I, I think. Onda's and the ball's really bright yellow. I, it's hard to miss. So it's exactly. You know, I, I don't see why you can't hit it here. What's happening here? Are they uh, retiring or? That's all. All right. That was it for that over. So is that the end of the innings? Okay. So we've got one more pair who'll be coming out. There we go. And then after this pair, then we should be switching, switching. batters. That's, no, and we'll be switching the team. The teams. Yeah. Team Australia will come on to bat then. All right. There we go. All right. So who, Rodney, introduce us to the two new batsmen. All right. So right now we have uh, Torwal and Meang. Torwal and Meang. They will be facing... Mayang Andrew. right now will be batting. Yep. And then Andrew McLean from the U.S. Embassy. From the U.S. Embassy. Yes, we've got an American bowling. Who's going to be bowling. So did you you want to know a fun fact? The first international cricket match was between the U.S. and Canada. Wow. Believe it or not. Exactly. And the Americans don't play cricket anymore. They oh. gave up? <laughs> I, I think they just switched to baseball like, like they do. You know, it's... it's uh, Made a few tweaks, adapted it, and now they play baseball. So. I see, I see. Yeah. All right, there we go. McLean going back at it, throwing it up. Ooh. It's flying, and Myung. Again. Again. Is that a Putting wide? a little effort Empire into that batting, Eden. okay. Yes. Empire Maybe she's Eden just warming up. Wide. Andrew here again. It looks like he's a spinner. There we go. All right. He's relying see. on the dip. Boom. Again. Oh, oh no. Almost. We have another miss. That's a no ball. That's a no ball. Ah, okay. the discipline's lacking. What was that? What did he call it? It's a no ball. So what do we get with a no ball? Scorers. Just bowl it again. So in cricket, the, uh, the other team gets an additional run and a free hit. I'm not going to get into that. But here today, you just have to re-ball the ball. You can relaunch. Andrew there again. There we go. Giving it some air. Whoa. Oh. Does, does she go for a switch hit? Oh my god. Meyang went for a swish hit and swish missed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Great nothing, try, Meyang. I know that's one of the most difficult shots to play in the book. It was actually an Australian by the name of was it David Warner who invented the switch hit? Yes it was. Again. With another miss. Wow. Okay. Andrew's Andrew's going for the spin here. The wicket slow, so he's using the slowness of the wicket. There we go. Myang is going for again. it. Oh, and misses and again, again. And again, he's, he's, he's bamboozling the batsman here using the slowness of the wicket. The ball not really coming to the bat. All right, and we got... Uh, what, what's happening here? Is, is umpire Rodney coaching the batting team? Or it's supposed to be the umpire a here. Little bit of tip. Again. Oh, oh wow. finally. Boom, finally. hits the so coconut tree. Oh, no. They're running. They're running. They get a single. Much needed single there. It was a. It hit the coconut tree. Otherwise, I think it was a chance. It was. It was a catching chance. And one only run. So that's two runs. All right. So that's that's uh, a, a, you know, a total of two runs. One run for hitting the coconut tree and one for making the run itself. Again, we've got some modified rules here. All right. Right now, batting is Torwal, and he's going for it. Ooh. 
You know, I think they'd be better up, off hitting warm straight. Warming up. Hitting straight instead of across the line. It's a lot more difficult to play across the line here. And Torwald should also have experience in baseball. So it right. shouldn't be as hard. Right, exactly. As, as you said, Rodney. It's but of course, the nerves of playing a new game, you know, probably yep, gets to you. Yep. It's a high pressure game. You know, big crowd, a lot of attention. It's being live streamed. Looks it's like they're running. The here. They're switching. They're switching. Okay, now so it's a different over. We have a different over now. Now we got former Minister of Cultural Affairs, Baklai Tamingil. She's going to be bowling. And she's been in the Palau National Olympic Committee for such a long time. Right. So she should have a lot of sports experience. There we go. Boom. Oh. oh. Again, is that a no ball? That's another no ball. So that's a re-ball. It's a re-ball, right, scorers? It's, it's a All right, that was a re-ball for Miang. I think she's kind of warming up. She's a little bit afraid of the ball, but I think she's changing up her strategy a little bit. Okay, another miss. Shout out to our scorers, Mora again, Bennett. There we go, there we go. Oh, Back. it's oh, no, he's and yes. gets caught. Oh, no, that's another wicket. Midair, there we that's go. Another wicket. That's an out. That takes that catch. An absolute All right. dolly there. There we go. It's flying and oh, no. misses again. Rodney, as you said, it's 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 yellow and it's round and you should be able to hit it. We got Torwal batting right now. Torwal's batting. Oh whack! Oh, it's there going. There we go. You see some right to Nikisha. Hand. Throwing it back to Minister, and they get a run Torwal for bring, Team Palau. Yeah, Torwal bringing the bottom right, hand. Right, Mayang back to her batting spot. Whack. Oh, whacked it oh, right no. into, oh, and she drops it. Oh. That's a real shame. Mayang hitting the ball straight into uh, Bakla's hands, and then she drops the ball. So now she's throwing it again. She's bowling again Bakla for had Torwal, and Torwal is batting. Bakla had two chances to dismiss the batsman there. First with the catch and then with the run out. She missed on both occasions. All right, there we go. Now they're doing a switch. That was the end of the two overs. Oh, that's it. No, that's the end of the innings. That's the end of the innings. Okay, Team so Palau. now we're switching teams. All right, but we're going to take a 10-minute break. We're going to take a 10-minute break, and I'm going to hand it over to Bennett and Morag. All right, let's hear it from our score. scorers. Yeah, Bennett, my, Bennett and Morag, the score is all yours. Thank you, Rohan. Rightio, so we have President Whips with 22 runs and zero wickets. And then on uh, with First Lady Valerie Whips, one run and one wicket, bringing the pair to a total of 23 runs. Then we have... So for Team Palau, you have a total of... Oh, for Team Palau, we're still calculating. Okay, I see, okay. The, the number's so big. So you're on uh, Team Australia? Yeah. Right now? Okay, Team Australia, sorry. No, Can no, you... No, still, they're still calculating. Oh, they're still calculating, okay. All right, all right. I see. Okay, okay. All right. So would you mind repeating some of those numbers? Yeah, no worries. So the scorers are now calculating how much Team Palau scored as a total. So this is crucial. So for example, if Team Palau scored 40 runs, uh -huh. I assume it'll be a lot more than that, then Team Australia needs to get one more than that. So if it's 40 runs, Team Palau scored, Team Australia needs 41 to win. Um, so it looks like Team Palau is taking the field again. We have a 10-minute right. break. You know what? The scorers are ready with the final score. So let's 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 pass it on them to announce what Team Palau's final score is. Rightio. So for Team Palau, we've got a total of 59 runs. All right. 59 runs for Team Palau. Form 59 runs from Team Palau. A formidable showing. Even though Team Palau slowed down at the latter end, the boost that President Whips and his wife 
and then the subsequent pair gave them Minister Matul. Yeah, you know, I, I think really their strength is really that duo. So now, so now Australia will be batting. How many runs does Australia already have due to the runs being added with the wickets? So Australia starts off with 16 runs already. Wow. All right. Now this is why you shouldn't be getting out, right? So, so they start with 16 runs. So team and Aust as they go into batting right That's now. That's right. right. So team Australia need how many runs? 60 runs, is that correct? Right. So right. Okay, so it's it's a bit tricky here. Once again, the rules have been modified. Right now, Team Australia needs 60, team need 59 runs to win. And they're starting off with 16 runs already in their pocket. But then, if you get out, now this is where it gets tricky. And kudos to the Australian Embassy for coming up with these innovative rules. So if they start losing wickets, that means Team Palau's total will start increasing. So this is really, incre this is really interesting here. So even though Team Australia starts off with 16 runs, you know, if they start losing wickets, um, you know... Then they're going to be, be really behind. They will be really behind. It will okay. become a, a bit of an uphill task. Ronnie, do you want to introduce the two batsmen who are taking the field? All right. So uh, right now we got uh, the Ambassador of Japan. Ambassador Orikasa. Ambassador Orikasa. And we got uh, the Ambassador of Australia. Exactly. Ambassador Turner. Ambassador Turner. Okay, She'll so... Be She'll just real quick, I'm just going to say this in, yep. in Palawan real quick. So, el al time is el score out at Team Palawa 59 ma at Team Australia el ang ospe a 59 el win. And the uh, already ngayang 16 el score el, 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 el score ng yung sira a last el game. Okay, so, kadam already lo mo or sell wal bol lo nyerul inning. Alright. Okay, gawal split el mo tul inning. Two innings, right? Oh, just one innings. It's just one inning. So now oh, it's one team innings. Australia bats. Yeah. Okay, Unlike so. Like in baseball, you don't have multiple innings. It's just one inning per team. I see. I get it. Yeah. yeah. So each team gets one inning. That's correct. Yes. All right. So you got two innings total. Yes. For the whole game. Whole game. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So right. I, I believe in baseball, you got there multiple we go. innings. It's right. throwing by the first lady. Whack. And Ambassador oh! oh! Minister Matul with an incredible dive Minister back. Minister Matul. Wow, what a save from Minister Matul. So he, but he missed the he, ball. He could have caught it. But he could have caught it. But full marks to him for effort there. Incredible dive. Already diving. showing energy on the field. They're taking this very seriously. Right now, Ambassador of Japan is batting. First lady still bowling. Just going to put in some technique. Oh, it's flying. Again, M Ambassador Ikasa lets that go. I think I think he's just going to get a feel of the pitch here. Even though it's not a test match, he's, he's getting a feel of the pitch, the bounce. Um. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that. Okay, the ball flew all the way past. Is that a four? Is that a four? That's four runs. All right, that's four runs uh, to the Australian team. And this is a request if you are driving a car with the plate number 21045. White Demio Rental, please move your car. Thank you for bringing that here so Ooh. we can announce that live on the radio for is that everybody to no. hear. No, no. She's made a ground. Ambassador Turner's made her ground despite oh. her whips, whipping the ball, whipping the wickets off, whipping the bales off. Ambassador Turner might be quite keen to do well here. It is, after all, a match being held to commemorate Australia Day. She'd want to lead from the front. A whacked! Whoa! Oh. Wow, that went all the way past is that six the runs? coconut it's trees. It's six. It's an absolute Ambassador six. Turner, wow. Great batting from Ambassador Turner. This is this is exactly That was a six. That was a six runs, automatic All right, six there runs. We go. So she pivoted there and whacked the ball over square leg. Incredible shot there. I mean this is, you know, a, a, an Australian embassy is hosting the game, so there's additional pressure on them to do well. Additional pressure yes, on them to yes. do well. Ambassador Orikasa whacked oh. it. Whoa, out of nowhere, Ambassador Orikasa wow. deposits that over the ball. Ambassador Orikasa hitting it all the way 
across the field. So this is something that they do, Rodney. Sometimes you come in, you assess the pitch, playoffs. Now we're back balls. with Ambassador Turner batting and the president bowling. Oh, that's that's no ball that needs to be re bowled. Whack. Oh, there we go. Missed and hit the wicket. So that's an out. That's right. President whips getting some movement off the pitch. I believe he dragged off the pitch and hit the wickets. So in, in, in international games for cricket, if mm. that happens, you're out of the game. You're out of the game. That's right, Rodney. But for this a specific game, uh, it's just uh, a deduction on our runs. You get you get an addition of two runs. The other team gets an addition of two The runs other gets team gets an addition That's right, for this of game. two runs. Okay, I see. But you're right. In international cricket or any other form of cricket, that will be out. Ambassador right. Turner would be back in the shed. President throwing it right now. Ambassador. Oh, no. Oh, Orikasa missing it. Yep. We have to give it to President Whips and the First Lady leading from the front with the batting and now leading from the front with the bowling. There we go. Boom! Oh, Ambassador Orikasa. Oh, four runs. Alu missing it. The fielder is well missing done. it. Ambassador Orikasa, that, that's four runs. And they're running back. No, there no, we no. go. Two runs. No, 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 no. But that's four runs. It's, it's crossed the oh, boundary. Oh, it was already four runs. Okay. So you don't have to run if the ball crosses the boundary along the ground or above it. I see, I see. So the president catching the ball and hitting that didn't count. It didn't count. It doesn't matter. Exactly. All right. I see, I see. Ambassador Oricasa really bringing on his power game. He's surprising all of us. He started off very slowly. So now he's batting again. Again, he's, he's Ambassador really. Ambassador Oricasa. There we go. Boom! Whoa! Whacking it all the right to the four. This is some serious. Oh. That's four runs. That's another four runs. That's four runs. There we go. To Team Australia. Australia. They're really catching up fast. It's incredible how the ambassador has raised his tempo, playing it slowly, but now really getting into the stride of things and accessing that square leg boundary. Oh, no. Okay. That's another dot ball. There we go. First lady behind the wicket. That's it. I think uh, the and two that overs was are up. The two overs. Now that's we're switching to the next players. That's quite a production. Team Australia still batting for this inning. That's a, of that's our cricket tournament. Yep. Cricket championship coming to you live on EPFM Eco Paradise. Yes, straight from the Cove on a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. Yes, indeed, in the beautiful island of. Hello. If you're watching this live, make sure to press the like button and subscribe to our Facebook page for Ngarel Belao, Eco Paradise. Right now, Richard is batting. He was our bowler for our last inning. Now he's going at it and Whoa. boom, all the way into the air. Caught. Was that caught? No, it wasn't. It, it missed. Okay, it, it bounced. bounced. All so right. It's just one run. Richard here, yeah, pretty intense here. Yeah. You know, that and was a very missed it, but she cut it back. All yeah. right, right now, we got Essie batting. All right, Shot. ball is being thrown by Minister Shot. Patul, and it flew all the way across the field. Richard back to batting right now, and we still have our bowler, Minister Patul. Boom! Whoa! Whoa! That's four runs. Four runs. Four runs. I think. Oh. Four runs. There's four Did runs. They call that an out. I, I don't. I'm not sure here. We're gonna go back. Is that out or? Uh, oh, it's out because it went straight into the pool. No, no. It, but but it bounced before the pool. So is that out? It's not out. Okay, umpires. Hold on, hold on. It's four runs because it didn't go directly into the pool. It okay. went along the ground. It bounced before going into the pool. All right. There's the so umpire. That's four calls. runs. Yep. Richard back yep. to batting right now. Minister Matul, Minister Matul here. going, and it flies Whoa. across the field into Edu's hands, and one there. Run. Ronnie and, and Minister Matul has a very interesting action here. He's, he's slinging. He's got a slingerish action. It's incredible. Oh, being very there effective. we go. Oh, that's out. It hits the wicked. Great bowl from Minister Matul from Minister Team Palau. Essie missing, and it hits the wicked. Hitting the wicket. Look, Richard's got to start scoring some sixes here if they've got any chance of catching up All with right, this score. All right, Richard batting right now. Minister Tmitul flying the ball. Oh, and no. boom. 
They're running. They're running. Lauren trying to get back. It's just only a single. All right. There we go. Singles are not going to do it. They need sixes and fours here. Yep. Okay, now Lauren is going to be bowling. We got Richard batting. Minister Matul behind the wicket. Okay. I think that's a wide. We're going to have to re that, that was one. a wide. That's, that's a no, it's a no ball. Actually. Oh, it's a no ball. No okay. Ball. No ball. Lauren going at it again. And Richard oh. really trying. Almost. I think what's important here is that Richard needs to let the ball come to him instead of going after it. I think that's a good idea. Exactly, without just yeah. swinging wildly. Play some decent there we go. cricket shots. Boom! Whoa! And oh it gets no. caught by Minister Victor. Team Palau fielders. Cat this is tough, yes. Catching the ball. The pressure getting the better of Richard there. I mean, I thought that he managed to connect that. And he went directly to Minister Victor. There we go. It's really unfortunate. All right, Essie Ang now batting. Lauren throwing the ball, bowling. Uh, well, you know, that's a dot ball. Essie cannot afford to miss those balls, you know, because they're, we can't afford any dot balls here. They're like gold dust for, oh, again, she again. misses. Essie misses again. Okay, Lauren. Team Australia can't afford these. Gonna throw another ball. I think we need to, yeah, you need to re-ball that one. We need to relaunch that one. That's a no ball. It's another no ball. I think I think Richard here is keen to get onto the other end. See where they could strike it again. A dot ball. There we go. And if you if you notice, unlike Nikisha, Minister Matul is standing up to the wicket. Right. To prevent them from stealing a single. I see, I yeah. see. They've really there we planned go. this out. They've really planned SC this out. SC just swinging, just swinging. And just missing all the balls. Yep. All right, I think that's it. All right, great job. That was the end of that over. They're switching teammates right now. Switching teammates. Let's see who's, who's coming up. Perhaps Team Australia may be inspired to send two like, pinch hitters, you know, to, to catch up with the run rate. Next batters for Team Australia and the fielders. We're also switching uh, the bowlers and the, wi the wicket keeper. Who's, who's the new bowler, Rodney? So the new bowler right now is Minister Victor. Yes, Minister Victor's coming And then the Kayla, uh, wicket keeping over there behind the wicket. Okay, so right now we got Nikisha and Neil, who's going to be batting for Team Australia. Once again, a beautiful day here at the Cove, celebrating Australia Day. All right. Here in your beautiful island of Palau, a big partner of Australia. Thank you, Australian Embassy. There we go. Neil hitting the ball and running. Nikisha really flying through that field. Neil demonstrating intent there in his shot. Now Nikisha is batting. See what Nikisha there can do. There we go. There's that throw from Minister Victor. Okay. I think another dot ball there. Nikisha also chasing after the ball. Yep. There we go. Minister Victor throwing it. And Nikisha hitting it into the coconut tree. They steal another single. And they steal another single. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Neil back to batting. And Minister Victor bowling Rodney full credit to team Palau for their bowling performance yeah. incredibly well disciplined line and length there we go oh Whack Neil it. whacking it through oh, the air six runs Neil. all the fielders missing it and they get another run okay. for team Australia it's an incredibly difficult shot to play was that that six runs that's, that's six, six runs for team Australia six runs for team Australia Rodney that's an incredibly difficult great shot to job play. Neil there we go. It's going, and he oh. misses. That one was a little low. It's an incredibly difficult shot to play a six-over cover point. Minister there. Victor bowling. He's got a little technique with there. Oh, no. I Tiptoeing a little no, bit. I think he might have to re-bowl this one again. Oh. Oh, no. It's, it's flying through their hands. 
and they get another run out of that for Team Australia. All right, Team Palau. There's Minister Victor stretching his arm. I think he needs a little exercise. He's done. They're going for a new over. All right, we're on to the new over, so they got to switch bowlers. Kayla now going to be bowling for Team Palau. Neil and Nikisha still on the batting. We got Team Palau on the field. There we go. Kayla throwing the ball. Neil hitting it all the way through the field. Whoa. That's Past a lot the that's fielders. Four. That's four runs. They get a four. They don't need to run four times. They get four runs. Neil accessing the long boundary there. That's the longest boundary on the field. He's not afraid to access it. Let's see whether Neil can dispatch it again. There we go. Oh, Kayla no, I, really. No, I think that needs to be bold again. Okay, no, that Kayla. that needs to be bold again. Yes, that's a no ball. Thank you. Thank you, umpire. I think she was expressing her um, yep. anger yeah, we need for to the be, last one. Yeah. We need to be fair by Team Australia here. You know. All right. There we go, Kayla. Throwing it all the way through. Whoa. And boom. Boom. Well fielded. Wow. Neil there again with a switch hit. Incredibly difficult to play. Team Australia gets another run out of that. Kayla still bowling. She's going to throw another one. Nikisha batting, and she bats it right next to her. She gets another run out of that because it was too far from the fielders. That's well run. Well run by Nikisha. And well Neil. run. Well played, Nikisha. Great job. All right. Well played. Nikisha turning the strike over to Neil, who seems to be the power hitter here. All right. Kayla going to do another bowl. Straight into the field, and oh. oh. no. What is that considered? That's that's a dot ball. No runs. All right, they no don't run. get a run out of that one. Yep. Huh? No run. Seems like they're um, arguing a little bit. I think there's a bit of sledging going on there. Are we telling, telling a little bit of know. story about when yep. they went fishing? Yeah. You know, I, I think it's important that we all respect the umpire's word. They're out there for a reason, <laughs> instead of individual players dictating how the game should be run. So it's okay for a little story time in the middle <laughs> of the game. You know. There we go. Kayla throws another one, and Neil misses once again. Kayla gonna throw another one. Look, I think I think to Neil. Neil's getting ready right now. Kayla there we go. Kayla throwing it in the air, Wax and then it. Neil oh, no. whacks it. Oh. Caught by the first lady. What a catch by the Team first lady. Palau. Great catch, first lady. Woo! Incredible catch. Very difficult to catch those, Rondi, because you're running yes. and you're trying to catch the wow, ball. Wow, that was impressive. While on the run. Uh, I am so impressed by the duo that we have for Team Palau, exactly. First Lady and the President. It's like they've been practicing and practicing. No doubt. There's a lot of thought that has been gone on to their strategy and their bowling and batting. They're really the strength of Team Palau. So how many Great job. So, Scorb, Bennett, how many, more, how many more pairs do we have for Team Australia? Three more pairs left. Okay, so there's still plenty of batting. Left in the shed for the Australians to catch up. All right, now we got um, it's Matt. Yeah. Matt and Isabel who are going to be batting. Matt and Isabel taking strike. Isabel again. Isabel Goodall is a uh, Palauan, but also she's part um, Australian. So hopefully she's uh, familiar with cricket. Isabel's bound to have watched some cricket. So, Rondi, cricket is huge in Australia and even from where I come from in South Asia. Um, any evening, you'll see 10, 15 matches being played. Oh, there we go. We've got a quick We've got run. Ed bowling takes and Wayland on wicket keeping. Takes a quick single there. So, Rondi, in actual cricket in in international cricket if the ball is bowled without pitching above the waist that's a no ball i see but today we're tweaking the rules a little bit oh wow that's well bowled and we got well a baseball bowled. player uh who's bowling yep. for us uh edu mile is a yep. known baseball player as well so edu she's doing it just really like well boom whoa well bowled wow well edu bowled edu really by edu mile oh whoa. and that's out. That's out for Australia. 
I think I think the batsman there tried to Wayland really intercept the fielder. Really applying those skills from Kayangal. Great job, Wayland. Wayland's a great I mean her, her bowling's been brilliant. On target. Oh, there we go. Edu Mile throwing it. Again. Isabel missing it again. Again. Decent pace on target. Whack Boom! It. Oh, whacking no. it right behind her. So Waylon caught that one. Again, Waylon, this is incredible bowling. She's she's bowling really well here. All right, Edu Mile is bowling really yeah. good, yes. Yep. You know, I, I think... She you know, is Team Australia has to go now. They can't, you know, a leave it pitcher. all. Oh, oh, and it's flying and through the air. Oh, oh. No. First Lady misses it, and they get their four, four runs. runs. Four runs. There we four go. Runs. Great job to Team Australia. Great job to Team Palau in the field. Flew Not straight you. across them, though. So maybe, maybe try harder next time. <laughs> no, Team Palau has been great on their fielding, the ground fielding and the <laughs> catches, so it's an unusual miss there, but... Okay, so Matt's, Matt's on strike. So Team Australia has to go now. They cannot leave everything okay, for the last two Matt pairs. Matt batting right now, yeah, so and let's... Wayland is now bowling. There we go, Wayland throwing it, and Again. it hits, and Again. it gets caught by Edumile. Wicket keeping right behind the wicket. There we go. Wayland throwing another one. And boom! Shot. Straight Again, past the president, just and they single. get a single run. Just a single. I think the Palau team here is bowling a full length. It makes it very difficult to hit the ball. It's ball right under the bat. It's I see. It's like a little a bit yorker. lower. It's lower, and it's, it's really... It should be, okay. It's really difficult to hit the sixes and fours when they bowl There we like go. Oh! oh no. Isabel applying her baseball skills to the wicked game. Yep. Didn't really work out for that one. Maybe try try a little lower. Boom! Right there! Straight into the first lady's hand and oh so close. Again, they pinch another single. Singles aren't gonna do it. This is not a, a test match. This is this is a limited overs match, a cricket match. <laughs> and it's of course all for fun it between is. a it team is. Australia. Oh, Matt here launching There we go, it. all the way into the air. It's just a single in international. No, it's two runs. It's two runs. Oh, it's two runs. They got two runs out they of that one. They got two runs there. So, Rodney, wow. as you can see, the boundary is really far. Straight from the wicket, I think Matt would do well to access the square boundaries, which are a lot more shorter, especially fine leg. There we go. Another <gasps> one. That. Yeah. Is that a no ball or? No, that's just, is it a, it's a dot ball. It's a dot, dot ball. ball. Okay. Yep. Or runs. That's it. I think the two okay. overs are up. Uh, once again, coming to you live on EPFM Eco Paradise. You can also catch us on Facebook. Make sure to look for Eco Paradise or Ngrel Belau on Facebook, find the video. You can watch it live right now. Or you can uh, come through to the Cove. By the way, we're giving out some prizes today uh, from uh, the Cove Resort. We got a free breakfast for us. Uh, we're gonna be asking a trivia question in just a little bit and giving out some prizes. So stick around right now. Uh, for Team Australia, we got uh, Pioria Koshiba batting along with the with Sam Scott, yeah, batting as well. All right. Oh, she misses. That's a no ball. Yes. Alyssa is to be fair to Team Australia bowling for Team Palau. There we go. Pitch it up. I think they might have to rebowl this. Oh, oh. no. It's a little. Uh, Short bowl. Maybe a little further would do better. Do better. There, there we, we go. go. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Alyssa bowling right now. And again, Peoria batting. The ball is flying. And oh, she hits oh. it. 
Another dive from Minister Matul. And that's a run out. <sighs> Minister and Matul's Alyssa efforts not in vain. It. Minister Matul's efforts not in win because they managed to run. Was that an out? That was out because they managed to run the batsman out. She failed to get to the wickets or the base. I it see. Be baseball, yeah. Before uh, the opposing team. Yep. Well, the opposing team was able to whip the bales off, hit the wicket before the batsman was able to get there. I see. Right now, batting for Team Australia, Sam Scott. Sam Scott. Ball is in the air. Whack. Boom! Wax it across the field. You know what? They get a run. He drops his wicket wow. in the middle of the run and is. That 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 was a real shame. That cost him. That yep. cost him yep. time. That was a real shame because he was trying to get to his wicket and then he forgot his uh, a wicket so, and then. So Rondi, like you don't his need wick, to... his bat. He forgot his bat, not his wicket. He, he didn't have his bat. <laughs> he. <laughs> and that cost him time. Sam and didn't have to carry the bat. He could have made ground without the bat. So it's, oh, really? it's all right. Yeah, okay. it's not mandatory that you carry the bat. But 99.9% .9 of the time, they do carry the bat because it's easier. You can you can lean and ground your, your bat. But, yeah, that was a shame. There we go. Peoria batting right now. She misses again. Alyssa is still Great. bowling. Yep. And we got Omdas wicket-keeping. Balls in the air. Goes that's right the behind yep. the batter. Ronnie, I'm just going to take some time to credit you and your production team. It's a wonderful production here ongoing. It's incredible to see cricket being played in Palau. For me, as a cricket fanatic, it's just incredible. There we go. She hits it. Peoria hits it into the air. But yeah, what was it like? The, the entire production putting this together? It's Yeah, I think uh, we came uh, the day uh, before yesterday and uh -huh. we did a little... Uh, scouting to make sure we got all the outlets and stuff ready yeah you know we got the cameraman we got cameraman from uh also tmc i gotta uh say a, a little shout out to the tmc production crew as well uh epfm eco paradise is partnered up with that production company so big shout outs to them because they're helping us out as well today you know, wonderful wonderful a lot of hard work has gone into putting this together and uh, we are again so fortunate to be here at the cove resort uh who also offers some great drinks from some delicious drinks, so please stop by the Cove. You know, if you're looking for uh, a, a good night stay here in the beautiful island of Palau, the Cove Resort offers some great rooms. It's got everything you can ask for, a fantastic view, a pool, yes. great food. Great view. It's great ambience. There we go. Oh, oh Omdaswa is bowling. Wicket. She throws it, um, and it, Peoria misses it, and it hits the wicked. I think Omdas managed to get some in-swing there. The ball, you know, like in baseball. So, na so now I think Omdas' strength is more in bowling rather than batting. I think so, too. <laughs> I think so, too. I think so, too. Yeah, exactly. That was some good bowling, but the batting could work a little bit. Oh, he's doing a little run. Whoa. There we go. Sam Scott hitting it in the air. Oh, boom. Not out. Not, Not out. out. That was a save they for Sam it. Scott. Running all the way to his wicket. Yep. So that's a score for Team Australia. Great play by the fielders, Team Palau. Yep. All right. Omdas has a little technique going on. He's running a little <laughs> bit, and then he's flying, and then it goes in the air. I think he heard you because Omdas is really up to his pace. You could clearly see oh, he's yeah. got a lot more he's fire. Putting, a, putting a little bit more uh, technique into he's, this run. Yeah. Almost like he's uh, doing a little ballet. Now this is... Exactly. There we go. Yeah. And boom. Oh, oh Peoria hits shot. it in the oh, air. The ball spins, Kayla it? misses it, and they're back to their wickets. Great play for Peoria and Sam Scott yeah. batting for Team Australia. Yeah. Omdas has got a beautiful bowling There we go. Here. Omdas doing his technique again. Wow, well bowled, Omdas. Great well bowled. bowling from Omdas. And great carry off the wicket. Alyssa. Doing our wicket keeping over there. Great job, Alyssa. A lot of the bowlers have failed to get bounce off the wicket, but Omdas there getting plenty of bounce and movement. A great over there. All right, yeah. And All that right. was the end of that over. And now we're moving on to the next teammates. So up next, batting.
from the U.S. Embassy, Andrew McLean, and Andrew. former Minister of Cultural Affairs, Baklai Tamingin. I remember Baklai Bo really well. I think she'd want to follow up on that and uh, you know follow through with her batting performance as well and give the Australians a shot here. And we have Andrew on the non-striker's end. All right, umpires just uh, making sure they know the rules. Yep, yep. I think they we're getting some advice here. Umpire Rodney, in the All interest right. of... All right. There we go. And uh, Thorwald oh, is it. bowling. Oh, he That's hits out. it. That's out we for Team Australia. Runner. So that's an extra score for Team Palau. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Team Palau here has a complete stranglehold of Team Australia here. All right. The wind is really just knocking down our wickets today, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. We got a nice breeze, but it's not so nice on our wickets. I think Tarawa is going to try and use the wind in order to swing the ball away from the... Or swing, swing into the batsman because the wind is blowing towards us. Right, right. He's going to use it to his advantage. Yeah. And Andrew is now batting. There we go. Torwal bowling and boom! Wow. It goes in the air. That's a six. What an from announcement. The US Embassy. All right. America and is in the house. And you can see, you can see the <laughs> Americans are used to throwing their bats in the ground and running. So he what threw his bat on the ground. Andrew. Fortunately, he didn't need to run because that was a six. So First ball, Andrew dispatches it. <laughs> In baseball, that would have been a home run. The Americans will be coming to save the Australians here. All right, Andrew batting again. Oh, Whoa. it goes right over his Is that his a hat. no ball? No, it's not a no ball. It's, it's not a no ball. No, it's not a no ball. All right, Thorwald is bowling. There we go. Thorwald also has a technique going on. Oh! Oh, are we running here? Yes, they're running. There we go. They're running. They're stealing that one. Andrew As steals it went single. straight past our wicketkeeper, Miang. That was an incredible shot by Andrew. Pretty much like what President Whips did early on in his All right, innings. now we're back to Buckley batting. There we go. The ball's in the air. And oh, she hits it. Oh, no. I think this is another wicket. And it's that another was wicket. another out. But that's okay. That's for all right. Team Australia. Yep. Oh, no. See, I think Andrew tried to steal a single there to get back on strike. But because... Oh, okay. So that's another score for Team Palau. But now we're back yep. to Andrew batting. There we go. The ball oh. is thrown. And it hits him I in the knee. Terawal is targeting his legs. He's not giving any length. At the end of the over, Tarawal's bowled a, a All right, beautiful over. Switching right now. Mayang is now the bowler. Yep. All right. In baseball terms, the pitcher. That's right. That's right. So I think one other big difference here, unlike in baseball, oh, we'll get back to that. There we go. She hits it straight back to Mayang, and Mayang oh, hits no. their wicket. No, it's not out. Oh, it's out. That's an out. There oh, we go. No. The umpire says oh, no. it was an out. But I think Andrew now can take take. So yeah, Rodney, as I was saying, in baseball the pitchers can bend their arms. In cricket, um, bowling is where you got to keep your arms straight. You cannot bend it, or you cannot bend it and then extend it again. So that's why we've been encouraging everyone to keep their hands so straight. So it's as not possible. a throw. It's not a throw, exactly. It's a bowl. It's a bowl, exactly. I see, because your hand is straight. It just goes straight out. You couldn't have put it better. I think that was, uh, you know, you put it as well as your anyone could have. Your arm has to be straight. Straight, yeah. When you're throwing it, okay. Yeah. There we go. So she's going to bat again. I think we're going to re that one. And she is, by the way, the current Secretary General for um, PNOC. And, and Palau National Olympic Committee. It's great. Baklai Tamil. There we go. Former minister. Boom! Boom! Hits it right past First Lady stumbling. And they get their run for Team Australia. Yeah. So, Rodney, unfortunately, cricket is not in the Olympics. 
There has been a lot of talk about including it, but for some reason. But it, 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 it they do do uh, World Cups for. We do have World Cup. Cricket Cups. World Cup. That's correct. It's a big thing, but like uh, we're not in the Olympics yet, though. And there has been talk about including it. Who knows? Perhaps by then we yeah. have a Palau national team playing cricket. Right. At and the Olympics. And we have the Secretary General for Palau National Olympic Committee. So who knows? Maybe she'll include it. Absolutely. And you know, one day, who knows? The Australian team might be playing the Palau national team in the, in, in the Olympics. All that right. would be incredible. Myung throwing it in the air, and then it goes to the ground. Maybe she needs to throw is, it a is, little is higher. That a, yeah, exactly. Is that a no ball? No, it's not a no ball. There we go. Guys, that needs to be re-bowled. Oh! It's not Andrew fair. Andrew hitting the ball, and Minister reaching the wicket just on time. Another score, another run for Team Australia at the end of that over as we switch to the next. No, I think that's the end of the match. Oh, that was the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a big round of applause to both teams. for both teams. Team Palau, Team Australia, once again, the second annual cricket tournament right here at the Cove Resort. Wow, great sportsmanship. We've been treated to some wonderful cricket today. Great skills, great techniques. Congratulations to both teams for yeah, an inspired performance. Yeah, that was a beautiful play. It was, it was. For Team Palau. It was. Well, we don't know the scores yet. Uh, it's anyone's guess. But I think Team Palau will be quietly confident. But let's see. Even I don't know the scores, but, but we've got to find that out. All right. All right, once again, coming to you live here at the Cove Resort. Uh, and uh, we have some uh, prizes. Johan's going to come up with our trivia question uh, for our uh, first prize, which is a free breakfast here at the Cove Resort. If you guys are watching this live, you guys can uh, uh, come over to the Cove and try and answer the question. Uh, he's going to come up with a trivia question that's based on uh, the game today on uh, bowling, on uh, wickets, on cricket itself. So uh, we'll come up with that question in just a little bit. But thank you guys for tuning in here at the Cove Resort. Giving you guys some uh, great plays throughout the whole game today. Wow, what a great, great day uh, to be playing cricket here at the Cove Resort. What do you think, uh, Johan? It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The weather gods were kind to us. We had a beautiful day. Incredible backdrop. Some incredible cricket, especially from Team Palau. And it's been a pleasure commentating alongside you, Rodney. As always, the golden voice on Palau and radio. It's been incredible to be on the same set as you. And um, yeah, and um, you know, we're looking forward to next year's cricket match. Wow. All right. So that does it for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. Happy Australia Day. Can we say Happy Australia Day on three? Ready? One, two, three. Happy Australia Day. Woo! We're making some noise over here at the Cove Resort. And we are live uh, on Eco Paradise. You guys can find this video on Eco Paradise's uh, Facebook page. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to... Uh, Subscribe to our page so you can get updated on all the great stuff. Again, Emalungi Litasil Simarbek Ladder Hultun Inra, EPFM, Eco Paradise, again, Etia Selguk, Walongerul Gamer Gidra, a cricket, El Nangira Blur Bela, Los Orgi, our ministers. I want to mention the names of the teams, uh, the teammates in both teams, Team Australia and Team Palau. So in Team Australia, we have. Uh, Yours truly, uh, I mean, we have uh, uh, a great team, uh, including the ambassador, Rochelle Turner, uh, for uh, Australia, ambassador of Japan, uh, ambassador Orikasa, uh, Richard Quinn. Uh, we have uh, Essie Ang Ubede, who is uh, replacing uh, Lauren in thereby. We have uh, Neil uh, Crockless. Uh, we also have Nikisha Smith. Uh, we have Matt Wakeley. Uh, we have uh, Isabel Goodall, Goodall, yeah, Goodall. 
We have Brand Graham. Uh, we have Puria Koshiba. We have Backlight Tamil Chilton. Uh, we have Andrew McLean from the U.S. Embassy. Thank you guys for playing for Team Australia. Uh, for Team Pulau, we have uh, our president, President uh, Whips, uh, Sir Ronald Whips Jr. We have uh, the First Lady, Valerie Whips. Uh, we have Lauren from uh, the President's Office. We have Minister uh, Matul, Unite Matul. Uh, we have uh, Caleb also from the uh, President's Office. Uh, Minister of MAIF, uh, Minister Victor. We have also uh, uh, Edumael, uh, also from the President's Office. Uh, Wayland and Alyssa and Omdaswa. Uh, also playing for Team Palau is Mayang. And we had um, Daniel. Uh, and Torwal. Oh, Torwal. We have Torwal also playing for uh, the president's team. So, again, a great set of uh, folks playing for both teams. We're very fortunate to be here uh, at the Cove Resort with the Australian Embassy. So, kumal mo sulang ang Rokultun Inra, EPFM, Eco Paradise, at tiyagida mo mong and the real awarding ceremony posting in a Facebook page ra Australia. So before we move on, we got the question, the trivia question. Johan has got the trivia question. He's just gonna ask a random question and you gotta answer this question right. You can uh, run over to uh, the cove or uh, you can call our number at seven seven five seven six six three okay if you can't do that then you can head over to the cove resort and try to answer the question right the first person to answer it right uh will get themselves a free breakfast at the cove resort all right so johan what's our question so rodney since it's australia day it's australia themed the question is how many international cricket grounds are there in australia how many international cricket grounds are there in Australia? And what I mean by that uh -huh. is how many stadiums or how many grounds are there in Australia where international cricket can be played or is being played? Wow. And does that, are you considering backyards and no, no, all no, those no. places? These are cricket stadiums. Official cricket stadiums. Official cricket stadiums where international cricket is being cricket played between two countries can be played wow that's the question all right so that's the question that's being posed thanks to johan and johan you're working right now currently at i'm working currently at iom but today is australia day we're gonna focus right. on australia all right yeah. so if there's anything wrong with these questions please find him <laughs> <laughs> at the international uh, office of migration all right so we got people uh who are coming up with the answers <laughs> all right they're trying to come up with the answers okay First person to the table with the right answer. First person to the right, table. All right, you got to give us the right answer. Oh, oh, there we go. Waylon trying to answer. All right. Waylon says, Waylon, what, how many international stadiums for cricket are there in Australia? Twelve. Twelve. All right. Waylon says twelve. Johan, is that correct? I'd like to hear what others have to say. All right, all right. Is there anyone else? All right, we're going to find that out in just a little bit. All right, but if All right. anybody wants yes. to try their luck. Look, Wayland's the first one to come up. He's correct. It's 12. Wayland is correct. You get There's a free 12. breakfast at the Cove Resort. All right. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in to Eco Paradise. Malungin lita silts and marvek ladro kung sumomo komorang sa tiyang live rang del belau. Eh, sola ko mal musulang at tunin at yagi detail gibe mo announce ay kail awards al mortal gal gugulu sa court al gamer gide al sils tiyang a gamer cricket tiyang a game al los court niya adra Europe madirek al adra India eh direk al adra Australia mang tar adra Australian embassy a host ng tiyagi del gamer gide al sils tiyamo mo ngon yerul time ay blur belawa a los court al game Artial Grand Cell, the Cove Resort. Magkada ko ramal. May mga ngudong artial na lumantiriar adra Australia. Lo sa ko ra cricket. The El Aldragara 2023. Okay. Yes. Sige damo tara question el blalo gani. El sumen sumen el ensayal question ng agiri de mur til mera the Cove. Sa mil direct lo magkada ngara seven seven five seven six six three el sumen sumen el trial ensayal. Ngin tingyel gotel adal May. 
Okay, ngel got got el adam metal table mal sumo mle got en mle ogodong y aquí un sel gol el suma adam le got en remote el main and then aquí un gel adam le got el melo van a right el answer. All right, so again, we are asking questions and giving away some prizes thanks to the Cove Resort uh, who are hosting our games, uh, our cricket game for this year, 2023. Uh, so uh, Johan's going to get our next question ready and uh, we're going to give away another breakfast uh, right here at the Cove. Okay, so right now, if I could have your attention, please. Uh, the the field is now open for anyone who wants to uh, uh, try their luck on the game of cricket. All right, so the field is open for anyone who wants to put their team together and try their luck on cricket. All right, uh, here is your next question. If you guys are watching this live, I got your next question. I got your next question. Uh, so the question is, what year did Palau participate in the Olympic Games for the first time? For the first time, what year? Did Palau participate in the Olympic Games for the first time? You got to run up to this. Come on. 1969. Hold on, hold on. Peoria, you're disqualified because you were in that game. <laughs> All right, let's try. Okay, not 1969. Kayla, it is not 1969. Okay, we got Isabel who's going to try her luck. Isabel? 2008 is not the right answer. All right, 2008 is not the right answer. 2000. 2000 is the right answer. And where, Kayla, where? Where did they go? Sydney is correct, Kayla. You get a breakfast, free breakfast here at the Cove. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give the mic over to Claudia. She's going to announce the current score. Oh, scores. Well, well first, uh, can I? Scores don't come out yet. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That she's not we're announcing the current score. We're still score. inviting people to play cricket. If they're interested, oh, okay. please go out to the field and play some friendly cricket. All right. The field is open for anyone who wants to play cricket. Try your luck at cricket. Go ahead. Get out into the field. Take your place. And let's play for fun. Yeah, the earlier one was not so friendly. It was very competitive. That was the real deal. I mean, you you took some you took a couple of dives. That's some serious stuff, minister. <laughs> All right. Rodney, it's not often that I get to play cricket in Palau, so I'm going to sign off and join everyone on the field, but it's been an incredible day, and I really look forward to this next year. All right, thank you so much, Johan, commentating with us. Live. Live on Eco Paradise, EPFM, Garel Belao. And again, a big shout out to uh, TMC crew for uh, assisting us as well here at the Cove. Thank you guys for lending a hand. All right. And maybe we can get a couple of players to uh, 
to come up and uh, say a few words, you know, tell us a little bit about how their play was. Can we get Nikisha? Nikisha. Come on in, Nikisha. All right, so Nikisha, you're from what part of Australia? I am from Sydney. Sydney, Australia, the big city. All right, of Sydney. And and where's that? Gamilaroy. Gamilaroy. And so you watched uh, cricket a lot of times, but how was it um, playing in the game? I've never watched cricket. <laughs> so this was your first time actually uh, indulging yourself in the game of cricket. Yes. Okay, and how did that feel for you? Uh, very overwhelming, um, but it was, it was fun. It was and what kind of techniques, what was going through your head when you were uh, out there in the field? Ball, please do not come near me. Do not come near me. Go the other way, please. All right. Well, uh, do you want to make a shout out to anybody out in Australia or anybody out there watching? Um, oh, gosh. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to pay my respects to the Indigenous people, the First Nations people um, who were, yeah, recognized as the first people of our country. Um, always was, always will be Indigenous land. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, that was so awesome. Yeah, you, you did great today, so thank you so much. All right, so uh, thank you, Nikisha. And uh, if you guys want to say a few words live on uh, our Eco Paradise FM page, uh, maybe we can get somebody from Team Palau. Uh, Team Palau, maybe we can get uh, the first lady, the first lady to say a few words. All right, the team, the duo team, First Lady and uh, President Surangal Jr. And they got to tell us about how they practiced. So uh, they'll, 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 oh, they didn't practice. Oh, they said that they read each other's minds. And that's what you call love, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, let's get Wayland or Kayla. Wayland, mind me. Wayland. Okay, uh, once again, uh, coming to you live here at the Cove Resort for our second annual uh, cricket game. Okay, el altam ang artela ng kada Wayland ng kalgo ng tira blue rang rard. Oh, adi ulo, adi ulo. Ang ayang ala, ang ayang ala. Kome ang kome ang kalgo ng tira blue rang ayang ala ng asel team na president team palaw. So tiang kura mukme del wayakur kami wala adrang ayang ala. Okay, Ang ayang ala, ala kong ngaw rents me, eh, merit matu. Okay, thank you, uh, Waylon from Team Palau and Team Australia. Really doing a great job today. All right. Okay, and then uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our buffet is opening up right now. So please make your way to the buffet line. Again, we are very fortunate to be here at the Cove Resort. Serving up some delicious, delicious food to complement a great game of cricket here at the Cove Resort, uh, here at your beautiful island of Palau. Okay, so again, a big shout out to our team, ER, Shandon, Brandon, and Eddie. Thank you guys for uh, the team, the media team that we're covering, <laughs> covering the game today that and you can find this video once again on eco paradise's page all right the second annual cricket game right now everybody's on the field uh just hanging out and playing uh cricket for fun and if you are listening to this if you're watching this you guys can come over to the cove and play cricket just for fun all right and also big shout outs to emily and spy the over at the studio in Eco Paradise Studio over 
uh, in Mune. So, so big shout outs to Emily and Spy. To thank you guys for connecting us onto the radio through Eco Paradise. 87.9 FM and 1584 AM. And tune in again uh, on our page for the awarding ceremony. All right. That does it for our live. See you guys and see you later.